hate my name. Shit pants? I'm on the phone talking to my mom. And there's Luch going, hey, shit pants. Shit pants this, shit pants that. Shit pants, shit pants, shit pants. It's my mother, for Christ's sakes. Trade ya. You trade puker for shit pants? Excuse me. Oh. There you go, Charlotte. Lovely, Kate. Okay, thank you. You're most welcome. And it was the funniest thing. <laughs> Looks perfectly respectful to me. My father dating my ex-boyfriend's mother looks respectful to you? Your ex-boyfriend is the operative frizz. Anyways, it's his mother that just pisses me off. Cake, shit pants has a thing. Thing away. We want you to talk to Luch and Joey about changing our nicknames. What's wrong with your nickname, shit pants? Buker. Leave it with me. You've reached Cake's Renegoli. You need a goaltender. Leave your details. And for 50 bucks, you'll have one there 30 minutes before the puck drops. If you're from my past, go away. I've reformed. The hard living and the breezy, lucrative jobs have been replaced by a code for living right. My damn fine espresso and my very first family. So you need a goalie, leave a message. If you want revenge or money, go for calf. A grown man takes his shit in his pants almost. What the frig you expect this nickname to be? Okay, but seriously, did you have to tell his mother? Some respect, boys. Do not cloud the issue with mothers, Cake. Joey and I dispense nicknames. It's a tradition. Best left alone almost. I'm just trying to help. <laughs> oh, grazie, Francesca. Your espresso rivals Napoli itself. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be great friends. Oh, Cake, wait. You better cover for me. No, I just finished, done. Huh? Come on, Cake, I can't take it any longer. What's the problem here, friend? They're happy. Are you blind? That woman is way too high class for my father. Oh. High class. Plus, my father was seeing her without telling me. You don't know that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> what the boys say about the nicknames? No. Not you too, gothy. I'm not a goth, Cake. I never was. I only took a short bus to special school one year, Cake. Yeah, and Lance the Boyle? <laughs> like, I don't even get it. OK. But Luch and Joey aren't biting, so you're going to have to take it up with them yourselves. No, it's internal affairs. It's your domain. No, I'm going for a walk. Fine. What names do you want? Excellent pants? I know. He doesn't even wear proper trousers. No. No and no cake. Way offside. Absolutely. So go and deal with your rank and file and take this goalie bullshit off my hands. It's not my business. It's funny. I thought goalie bullshit was your business. I mean, you're standing here doing business with a couple of bullshit goalies. Nah, yeah, he doesn't have to. That's true, Joey. Though, he'd risk his bridge to the rest of his bullshit goalies. A bridge he can ill afford to lose. A bridge too far, almost. No threats, boys, because we all have hypothetical levers should we choose to apply pressure. Ice time, Joey. A hypothetical lever. Interesting. I'll tell you what, I don't feel like playing my four o'clock with Jimmy. Go see if any of your bullshit goalies want my hypothetical lever. I'm serious, guys. You want me to pursue this? One of you has to take Lucha's game. Can't really do that, Cake. Sorry, Cake. Fine. Neck goes empty, then. All right. <clears throat> now, we're all goaltenders here. We're all driven individuals, but individual issues... Like nicknames. ...must remain secondary to collective issues. Joey and I have ongoing negotiations with Cake. Now, going behind our backs... Undermines us almost. I suggest we turn this discussion into an opportunity. We present Cake with a united front and turn up the heat on said issues. You haven't said what the issues are yet. Cake's ready to go. Cake, you silly prick. Ah, oh, Desmond, you sound cheerful. Aye. Jimmy the Cornholer just fed me one of your egg games. I couldn't help but wonder if anything's wrong. No, uh, Luch had the runs, and the rest of my egg guys uh, had funerals. Talk to me, Kate. Gentleman's code. I can help. All right, it's my goal is this. Hey, you know, just take, take, take. Ah, uh, Kate, how many times have I told you to show the cut-chewing rock stompers any attention? They start whinging and preening, and you're prima donna fucked. Thanks, Des. I'm solid. O'Malley's right. My goalies are a bunch of ingrates. Where's Ivana Trump? 
Okay, Franny. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that this is not about relative wealth. So you're gonna have to enlighten me. Is it an Italian thing? Actually, it is an Italian thing, yeah. Because if my father died first, my mother would have worn black the rest of her life. Okay. We'd like to speak to you on Sidekick. Speak to me right here, Luch. What's going on, guys? We got a list almost. Well, I don't want to hear it. I think you do. We're forming a union. The Goalie Guild. Right here. No more goaltender abuse, Cake. For decades, our forefathers took it. The mocking, the crease violations, the bad knees. Forced to play without masks, like Mike Palmatier. Palmatier! Palmatier wore a mask. Not as a child. He played barefaced. Comrade Puker, let him have it. <clears throat> Item one, zone-based travel coverage. Item two, goalie gear and kit rental. Item three, better enforcement of crease violations. Item four, uh, item four, um, okay, oh. item. Item four, item four. Oh. Keep your dirty trombone, Cake. Or what, you'll strike? No, no. Don't bother discussing, fellas. Hey? Because you're locked down! Hey! 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 What the fuck were you up to this morning? Um. You let an argument over nicknames escalate into a unionized strike? It won't last. O'Malley's playing you, Cake. He's filling your nets while he paints you into a corner with these guys. Don't worry about the corners, Franny. My game's all about the corners. Cake's running, goalie. It's my cake. O'Malley sent us Malta. She took a piss in a beer bottle and fed it to a defenseman because he screened her. So I suggest you fix this strike and fix it quick. All right, Mike, leave it with me. Shit. And I gotta cover Jimmy Cornhole this afternoon, too. Mm. Rock in a hard place, Franny. I know a guy who'll play. He'll play anything. Replacement players? Cake, I don't think uh, scabs are code. Oh, they're management code, sweetheart. Truce. Sidebar. Why? You okay, Bill? No, I'm fine. I just, I want to say to Fran, I'm, I'm fine with my mom dating your dad if you are. Well, I'm not. So get back on the fucking line where you belong. Oh, why she gotta be like that, Kate? I don't know. Out you go. Come on, come on. Keep going. Don't sit down. Come on. Outside. Oh, gee, oh, gee. Man. We got a right to protest, Johnny. Hey, you got no rights on my sidewalk, okay? Go protest in the alley where you belong. Yamanin. <sighs> Things aren't uh, usually so chaotic around here. Little uh, labor unrest, for sure. And uh, you two, make sure that you have them all under control by the time we get back, okay? Mm. Where are you going? Uh, we're going to Antigua. Antigua? Just a quick weekend. I can't wait to show Johnny Antigua. He's never been. <laughs> I'll go call Evan about the chat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ciao. <laughs> Have fun, Pa. Mm. Franny, um, she ain't so good. She thinks Charlotte's wrong for you. <sighs> it's because she's not her mother, Cake. Mm. Mm. Have fun. From each according to his own abilities, to each according to his needs. Nice, short bus. Hey, hey, who's this? Hey, dude.
So, my great cake. Finally ready to get our hands dirty, are we? I just need a few shifts covered. He's a scab. Yeah. He's a scab. Hey, look at him. He's a scab. He looks like a scab. He looks like a scab. He's a scab. Can't believe Cake hired scabs. Because he's management short bus. And what's the real reason he hired scabs? Because Cake wants to protect his market from O'Malley almost. Exactly, Joey. And we, the goalkeepers, our lineage stretching back to Johnny Bauer, to Mike Palmatier. Palmatier! Helpless against these machinations. Until now. Nice, Luch. Keepers, we have an opportunity here to turn the goalie rental business upside down. But we gotta think big. And we gotta be bold. Friends, we have to bring O'Malley's keepers into the guild. <gasps> How, Luch? Malta? Bontar? Patty Hurst? They're nasty bits of work. What are you gonna do, Luch? You're just gonna walk in there and which, what, shake hands? I think I will. Cake's run a scab. Cake, I wouldn't trumpet that. What's wrong now, Jimmy? Well, it's the warm-up, and the scab is playing like a donkey. Plus, he's a psycho. You sent me a psycho donkey. I'm going back to O'Malley. Hey! Did um, Richard Branson jet off to Antigua? OK, have a seat. I'm going to make myself a coffee. We'll have a little chat. About what, fucking, fucking polo ponies? about polo ponies and your mother. It was keeper on keeper, fratricide. Yeah, but there can be no revolution without bloodshed. <laughs> Luciano and Joey also. Мы прочитали манифест и проголосовали за вступление в гильдию. Я надеюсь, это правильное решение, так что принимайте нас с добром и миром. What do you say? He's offering peace pastry, stupid. We read manifesto and vote to join the guild. Palmatier! It was just the way she was. She used to um, <laughs> light 50 or 60 candles every Sunday for dead relatives and friends. It's beautiful. Yeah. I miss her. It's natural. But you see, it's not about Charlotte. Mm -hmm. right? No. Your father will always honor your mother, but after four years, the man's got to step out. We should all step out, Franny. It's just, it's the fact that he hid it from me, you know? That's what fucking burns me. Well, if you can't prove it, you can't use it. Ah, that is typical male non-disclosure. He disclosed? <laughs> He did. He's just too proud and stubborn to admit he's making up lame excuses, sneaking off all toward to Montreal. You knew? No. You knew my father was dating her? Yes. And you didn't fucking tell me? It wasn't my information to share, friend. Franny? I want strike breakers, Pinkerton's scabs. Scabs don't work, buddy, trust me. I think what we need is a unified strategy so that when we sit down to negotiate... What are you doing your negotiations? What we need is a fucking spy. A spy? A spy. A goalie turned goat feeding us information so when we do sit down with them, we can lop off their legs and beat them to death with their own feet. It's actually a pretty good idea. Of course it's a good idea. Why do you think I'm paying Malta to think for us? You're what? Quorum almost. Brothers and sisters, today we make history. Goaltenders of all creed, color, and skill level reaching out across the city to shake gloves. Now you all have a list of our demands. Yes, shit pants. What about my nickname? What about your nickname, shit pants? It's not on the agenda. Motion to add nicknames to the agenda? Right. 
Absolutely. Motion carried almost. No, the motion ain't carried. Sit your shit pants down, shit pants. <laughs> hey, Siv. What's he calling me? S I E V E. Sai <laughs> What's that? A colander fuck face. You draining pucks into your net. Huh? Huh? Fucking priceless. We know their bottom lines are melting down already. I want my money. Give her some money, Kate. <sighs> Pleasure doing business with you boys. <clears throat> okay, no, 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 no. no. Ooh. First, you lie to me about my father. Then you're colluding with him. And now you're making out with her? I did. I will. Why don't you knock? <clears throat> Okay, you gotta go. Okay, we'll finish this later no, then. No, okay, go, a little bit. Go. Call me Dice. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, okay. This is good cake. Now, we jump plants wearing balaclavas and kick the living shite out of them. What the hell for? Don't blame it on Malta. Sabotage, man. Sow some fear and uncertainty. Desmond, I think we can just negotiate an accident. <sighs> negotiate nothing, cake. We're gonna rage rule him right back to Pee Wee. Desmond, I think that you say it, Cake. We don't give one inch. Fine, we don't give him one inch, but we're not kicking the shot out of Lance. You're soft, Cake. Are you questioning my backbone, Desmond? Yes, I am. How do you know if the ice is level? There's drool coming out of both sides of the goalie's mouths. <laughs> <laughs> Drool on both sides. <laughs> hey, Cake. You wanna know what I think? I think you're gonna tell me, Cord. Well, you and O'Malley sitting on the same side of the table. No good will come of that. I agree. Uh, I'll be outside. Well, hi, I'm Gord. Luciano says he's hanging him up. This is terrible, Fran. Not only am I in bed with O'Malley, I got making out with a Malta and... Let me guess. We used her as an informer to fuck over your goalies. I hate that chick. I'm sorry, Fran. How do I end up in the middle of every little shitstorm? What's going on? It's, uh... Big sit down, John. I, I want to talk to my daughter. Kate can stay. Then, Franny, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that, that I didn't tell you right away about Charlotte. But I had to be sure. I had to be sure that the first woman I considered in four years could somehow reflect the light of your mother. Oh, Papa, I don't want you not to go to Antigua because of me. Ah, uh, Charlotte ain't right. I got my girl. <gasps> What about this goalie thing? It's not good, John. What do you need? I need a neutral third party who knows hockey inside out, commands the respect of goaltenders, can make a Mally catch. Oh! Oh! The fuck is that? I'm really sorry, John. Let's put this tedious shit to bed. Item number one. The goalies demand a 25% pay increase. Fuck that. 50% decrease and have to iron our briefs. Clam up, Desmond. This is an enforced settlement. Enforced by who? Who else? Mike fucking Palmer's here! Oh. Hey, Mike. Hey, Gordy, how you doing? Hey. Hi, goalies. Hi. Hi. Hey. Okay, what the hell is this? Hey, are you a part of this meeting? He's actually not allowed inside Mike. House rules. Well, then sit down and shut up. Yes, Mr. Palmer, too. <laughs> All right, Mike, here's the agenda. Actually, uh, Gord, uh, let's forget the agenda, because I'm thinking the goalies probably have a few questions uh, for Mike Palmatier while we've got him here. Sure. Uh, Mr. Palmatier, uh, 
Oscar like my favorite goalie when I was growing up almost. <laughs> Not exactly a question, but thanks. I know. Well done, Joe. Patty Hearst. Господин Полатьер, вы для меня несомненно кумир. Я восхищался вашим мастерством. Когда я рос за железным занавесом, у нас не было дома телевизора, но я читал хоккейные журналы, привозимые контрабандой из Запада. Я очень вам признателен за то, что вы помогли мне освободиться от такого тоталитарного режима. Says you're big in Minsk. Cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Ah. Uh... Oh, Mr. Palmatier. Mr. Palmatier, how, how did you do it? How did you keep playing when management forced you to play without a face mask? Do I look like I play without a mask? You gotta be rude to Mike. Sorry, Mr. Palmatier. Hey, what about this union agenda? Nicknames? Are you guys serious? Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. No. 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 Give an inch, Des. Okay, so I've thought about this and consulted with Luch and Joey, and uh, we all agree that Chip Pants should have a new nickname. Yeah. So, boys, uh, what do you got? Ship boy. Ship boy, almost. Hmm. Nice. Ship Pants, do you uh, want to be shit boy? Ship Pants, it is then. Ship Pants. Yes. 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 Yes.